Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's May 11th. Hopefully, this is a good day for you. Maybe it's your birthday. Maybe it's not your birthday. I don't know. But this was Irving Berlin's birthday back in 1888. Irving Berlin was born Israel Isidore Berlin in Russia. During his lifetime, this popular composer wrote such memorable tunes as, of course, White Christmas, Putting on the Ritz, God Bless America, There's No Business Like Show Business. The name is just synonymous with music. It's just, it goes, you know, you think Irving Berlin, Berlin and immediately songs pop in your head, right? But did you know that Berlin, who wrote the lyrics and music to about 1,500 songs, never had any formal music training or education? A self-taught piano player, Berlin played by ear and only knew one key, F sharp. Later, he had a special piano made for him that he could adjust the key with a little wheel, and that's how he changed being able to play from F sharp to whatever other key, but he was really still playing just in F sharp. During his long career, Berlin never learned to read music or to write music. Instead, he relied on a musical secretary to transcribe the songs that he wrote. Berlin had an extraordinary gift of music. Despite having never learned formal composition or music theory, he was able to delight his many fans with wonderful songs that still remain popular today, many, many, many years later. God delights when we use our gifts. You know, this man was blessed with, with a special gift. And God delights in us when we use those gifts that he gives us, especially when it's for his glory. God, you know, he, it makes him feel special when God gives us a talent and we develop that talent. And we use that talent to do things that are good for him. You know, if God has given you the talent to play an instrument, play it for him. God has given you the talent to be able to sing on tune. Give it to him. God's given you the talent to be able to just sing not on tune. We still give it to him. Whatever God has given us as a talent, we should always turn it back and give it to him. If he's given us a special ability, there's a way that we can find to use that ability for him. You know, maybe he'll say, oh, well, you know, my career really isn't something that, you know, God uses. I'm not a pastor for my career or I'm not, you know, someone that does full-time music for the church as my career. No, but God can use your skills. You know, the, some of the things that I do in my current job have been a blessing to the church because of things I've learned how to do in my work. God can use the things that you do and still be used to bring Him glory. Whether it's because you're using those talents or abilities or in the middle of using those talents and abilities, you're reaching people. You're connecting to people that maybe otherwise would not have heard about Jesus. There are many combinations of talents and abilities. as There are, there are as many combinations, excuse me, as talents and abilities as there are people in the world. So many different things. And if we use them the right way, they bring pleasure to God. It makes Him smile. So what gifts and talents do you have? What can you do to use your talents, your abilities, in a way that will please God? As you go through the rest of this day, I hope that you'll take a moment and think about that. Maybe think through some talents or some abilities you have. It doesn't have to be anything amazing, you know? When we think of that, when we think of a talent, we think, oh my goodness, like I have to be the best musician of the world for God to see that as a talent. No, you can just be talented at cleaning. You can be talented at graphic design. You can be talented at calligraphy. You can be talented, so many different things that we sometimes write off as, well, you know, it's something that I can use. It's something good for me, but it doesn't really do the church any good. Find a way. See, is there a way the church can use this talent? Is there a way that God can use this ability to bring glory to him, to bring people to him, to be a blessing to the church. So I hope as you go through the rest of the day, you'll think on those things and maybe see what God can do. So God bless you. I hope you have a great rest of the day. We'll see you back here again tomorrow. Take care.